What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Hashtag GSM for GM, episode three of season three in WWE 2K24, my GM mode. I'm Graham GSM Matthews. Hope you guys are doing well and having a great week slash weekend so far. We are closing in on, what would it be? Uh, Hell in the Cell. I want to say Backlash. It's not fucking Backlash. It's Hell in the Cell. Um, it's a very dumb pay-per-view name. And I don't know why they still have it because we haven't had a Hell in the Cell pay-per-view in two years in real life, but whatever. Uh, I, I don't know what Hell in the Cell matches we're going to do on the show, if any, but that's what's coming up. So on tonight's show, we got Miz and LA Knight in the opener, non-title. Winner of this match will advance to Hell in the Cell main event for the Universal Championship. So that's going to be the main event of the pay-per-view in the opening match here tonight. Uncle Howdy, role change after attacking Bray Wyatt, returning last week and attacking Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt will do a self-promo. Cora Jade will call up Bianca Belair after Bianca cost her her opportunity to advance to Backlash or Hell in the... I want to say fucking Backlash. It's Hell in the Cell. Um, Bianca cost Cora Jade that opportunity by attacking her last week, so they're going to have a match at the pay-per-view. Carmelo Hayes and Wesley in exhibition of sorts between those two. Roxanne Perez and Tegan Knox in tag team action. It's Rhea Ripley and Bailey. And then in the main event, Randy Orton and Sami Zayn renewing hostilities in a last man standing matchup. Winner of this match will advance to the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view to face the winner of Knight and Miz. So I'm looking forward to that. So we'll watch Orton and Zayn. That seems to make the most sense. We, we can't watch this due to the interference from Ilya anyway. Uh, and this match would be, you know, these matches should be good, but we'll definitely watch the main event. So we are good. Let's get right into it here. Confirm booking. And yeah, we're in St. Louis, Missouri. Orton's backyard tonight. All right. I'll have to simulate this one. All right. Winner of this match advances to Hell in a Cell. We have Ilya Dragunov interfering, attempting to cause Knight the victory, given his alliance with Sami Zayn. One, one two, two three. LA Knight wins! <laughs> Despite the interference from Sami Zayn's best friend, Ilya Dragunov, we got Dragunov uh, backfiring, his interference backfiring. So it says a new feud between Dragunov and Knight. I thought we had Knight and Sami Zayn as a feud, though. Hmm. Does he have multiple feuds? I guess we can look. I guess you have multiple feuds, which if that's, if that's true, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, roll change for Uncle Howdy. Going to simulate this matchup. One, two, three. Carmelo Hayes picking up the victory. New rivalry between the two. Rivalry grows between Cora Jade and Bianca Belair. All right. We will simulate this tag team matchup as well. Two, three. Rhea Ripley and Bailey emerge victorious. New tag team feud there. All right. Popularity goes up one point. And we will watch this one. Randy Orton and Sami Zayn in a last man standing matchup. WWE Championship Tournament semifinal match. And I don't know if Orton has beaten Sami Zayn yet. They had a lot of matches last year, about two or three different matches. And I think Sami Zayn won every single one, if I'm not mistaken. They had a match in the post-WrestleMania SmackDown. But won that. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Zayn won that to retain the Intercontinental Championship. Um, they had a rematch of the subsequent pay-per-view. Zayn won that, I remember. Just doesn't hit the same in a fucking high school gym. And then... They had another match of the pay-per-view. Or no, on the subsequent SmackDown. Sammy and um, Zayn won that as well, actually. I think it was a steel cage match, and that was where Dragunov interfered. So these two have been kind of going at it for the past year. Having the main match as well, not one-on-one, -on -one, but the tag team match, the TLC match with Dragunov and yeah, Orton's now former partner, one, Matt Riddle, who has been uh, released well, from WWE hyperbole. in the game, I suppose. He's one half of the tag team champions, but he's gone, Edge is gone, Ziggler is gone. They were all pretty big parts of SmackDown before they left like Rock 2. Uh, here we are, we're back now. In the SmackDown main event scene with Orton and Zayn. Formerly fighting over the Intercontinental Championship. Now they're fighting for an opportunity to challenge for the WWE Championship. Now what's cool about this is that Orton is a former world champion on SmackDown. Maybe a two-time, definitely a one-time. He was, I believe, our first world champion. Maybe Brock, I don't remember. But he was champion for a while. I think it was Brock and then Orton. And then Orton lost it to LA Knight, actually. That's what happened a few years back. So he's looking to get back in the main event scene. 
Nice DDT there from Sami Zayn. Orton getting right back up. Sami Zayn has never been in the world title picture. That is actually the one championship that has eluded him on the show. He's a multi-time former Intercontinental Champion, a multi-time Tag Team Champion. Oh, he's got Orton now. Beautiful. Boom! I don't know what that was, but it was cool. Oh, nice exploder suplex. So uh, Zayn looking to get back in the championship scene, this time in the main event. Both guys have something to prove here. Same move here from Sammy that he just had a moment ago. Boom. He connects. Zayn dominating so far again. He's had Orton's number in the past, so and this match is definitely in his uh, in his wheelhouse. Orton with the suplex. Boom! Nice kick. And another nice kick. Oh, and a clothesline as well. Kick to the back. Okay, Orton tallying or rallying back now. Some nice offense. I'm looking forward to the pay-per-view. I know. I think we uh, put together a pretty nice card. Two women's matches. Crown a new women's champion. Between two, uh, Rhea, well, I was going to say between two former champions, but Rhea was never champion here on SmackDown. Sure shot there from Orton. Uh, Roxanne Perez is though. She never got her rematch when she lost to Charlotte at Mania a couple years back. She got drafted after that. So we had we haven't seen Roxanne on SmackDown since she's back, and she wants her belt back, and she's going to have to go through Rhea Ripley to get it. And Orton now changing some offense together. This devastating offense from Orton. Orton gets thrown into the steel steps. Or Jade, formerly a tag team partner of Bianca, so she's jealous that she kind of, you know, got the mania opportunity. She kind of left her in the dust. Oh, and um, that's why she turned on her, so I'm looking forward to that match. That should be uh, should be a really good match. Uh, I think that's a great story to tell there, because we don't have Becky on the brand currently. He's got Orton. Orton's got Sammy off the ropes and with a nice elbow to the face. Three, four, okay, Sammy Zayn up at four. And he's got him, look at the body, boom, right across the neck on the top rope. Okay, what's Orton thinking now, just letting him, letting him simmer. And Zayn again back up at four. It's gonna take a little bit more damage to put him down. Ooh, nice, nice press. Here come the bombs. Just going all out with every Strikes from Orton there. It would be a very, uh, what would be the right word? Therapeutic win for Randy Orton to be able to put away Sami Zayn after already beating Dragunov. One rival down. Hopefully the second one to go here tonight. After not being able to extinguish that uh, thorn in his side of Zayn and Dragunov for about a year now. He put down Dragunov, and now he wants to put down Sami Zayn. These are the only two men standing in his way of becoming world champion again. I mean, and then whoever is obviously in the finals, that being L.A. Knight. So we might be getting a main event at Hell in the Cell of Knight and Orton, actually, for the championship. If Orton can advance here, so... It would be an interesting story to tell if they did go in that direction. But at the same time... At the same time... <clears throat> Zayn and Knight for the world championship would also be pretty cool. Up to an eight. Oh, and Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn up at eight. Knight could become a double champion of the pay-per-view, which is pretty cool. Either against Orton or Sami Zayn. We will soon find oh out. God. Boom! Right across the knee. Right to the spine. Taking this outside. This could be good. I thought he was this counting him outside of the ring. I forgot it was Orton being down. Guess he caught another win. Nice DDT again there from Sami Zayn. Cutting off the count here, maybe with a little something extra in mind. He's getting him up. Sami Zayn Blue looking for Thunderbomb, baby. Sami might have just tilted things in his favor. Could that be enough for Sami? No, he knows that won't be enough. He wants to put him away with something else first. Oh, nice big boot there from Sami Zayn. Orton down, two count, three. Well, there's the eccentric. 
Sami Zayn for you, ladies and gentlemen. Will you dragging off? He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more Interference time. backfiring earlier soon. in the night. Sami Zayn might have something to say about that. Potentially in an upcoming episode of SmackDown. Dragging off trying to help Sami Zayn by taking out Knight early, but it did not work. Now Dragunov's been banned from the building after interfering earlier, so he cannot interfere in this last man standing main event. <laughs> nice forearm there from Sammy. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Orton back up. Nice strike to Orton from Sammy. Zane thinking he's a mastermind with this one. I'm thinking, yeah, he's got Orton right where he wants him. Yeah, I don't think it's going to keep That's Orton down. He's down for a seven. An eight, and he's back up. The Haluva kick, but I think Orton blocked it. Orton blocking the Haluva kick. Sammy with the flat out back break right over the knee. Has to put him away with the chair shots, or he's just waiting. He's waiting. He knows Orton's gonna get back up, but he wants him to exert that energy by getting back to his feet and then hitting him with the chair. That is a smart move from Sami Zayn. In there he goes, getting him back up, and he misses the chair shot. Oh, okay, got the strike. Another one. Orton firing back with the chop. Orton following or firing back again with more chops. Here we go, the back and forth. Oh man, the exchanges of strikes popping Orton open. Getting some blood with a nice uppercut there from Sami Zayn. He's trying to keep Orton down. Is he gonna stay down or will he get up? That might be enough. Does Orton have enough left in the tank to get up? And he does, back up to his feet. And there goes Orton again to the outside. And he's taking this to the outside now. Gets he's inside not doing right. anything. He's just letting him lay there, I guess. That's kind of weird. He's probably going to get back up from that, so I wouldn't... I don't know. It's been a while, actually. Six. Seven. Eight. Orton back up. And he heads out of the ring. Oh, a big boot from Sami Zayn. He returns to the ring. A halluva kick for good measure. Might be it for Randy Orton. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, Orton barely back up to his feet. How did he do it? Oh, clothesline. Oh, and there a backbreaker and then the clothesline from Orton. Catching Sammy with that chair. He had Sammy had no expectation of Orton getting up, and neither did I. He's endured a lot of punishment. A lot of haluva kicks so far in this matchup, but he keeps battling back. Oh man, he's waiting. He's got him fired up. And an RKO, Sammy catches it with the haluva kick, and he misses as well. And he connects! Oh man, that was fucking sexy. Oh, that was awesome. Will that be it? Oh man, I would love to see a replay of that. An RKO blocked into a Haluva kick block and then catches him with a Haluva kick when he turns around. And he's still fucking up? What the fuck? He climbs into the ring. How? Oh my god. Blue Thunderbomb from Sami Zayn. My god, man. Will that be enough? This man has eaten so many haluva kicks from Sami Zayn. That last one was beautiful. That's gotta be at six, seven, eight. What the fuck is up? Orton is up. Sami's gotta put him away against the ropes. Oh, drop down. No, over. Boom, and there it is again. What a fourth or fifth one in this matchup? Another haluva kick from Sami Zayn. It's not as effective as it is in the corner. That's the problem. So he's had to hit so many of them here today. But I think that last one was the charm. He busted him open on that. 
Just gonna need some medical attention. Nine. And that's it. Ring the bell. Orton's out. Sami Zayn wins in a great, great last man standing match. Zayn continues to have Orton's number, which means, as they have teased in the last couple of weeks, Sami Zayn told LA Knight, I want your Intercontinental Championship. But before he can challenge for that championship, he's got his eyes on a, something a little bit bigger of a prize. Sami Zayn and LA Knight for the WWE Championship in the main event of Hell in a Cell. Wow, that's pretty fucking cool. Great match. Disappointing, fuck you. That match was awesome. Disappointing my ass. That was fucking sick. Again, new feud. I think they can have multiple feuds at once. I think that's what's going on here. Alright, simulate that, simulate this. Our main event bomb for some reason, even though I thought it was a good match. I mean, I guess because they're both... They're both baby faces. I haven't turned Sammy yet, that's why. Alright. All right, don't care about NXT. All right. Phoenix, Arizona. Wait, Hell in the Cell's next week. Okay, that's what I thought. Orton versus Zayn wasn't the greatest fight. Part of the reason their fighting styles don't work. I don't really care about that. Knight says, that loser Ilya Dragunov attacked me during that last fight. I'm not going to stand for garbage like that. I want to settle things in the ring with him within the next three weeks. Well, you don't have to wait three weeks, uh, LA Knight. You're going to have to wait until tonight. Because that's the go-home show main event, baby. It says, you don't seem to realize this, William, but I'm a bit of a master on the mic. I want to make my mark in a promo during tonight's show. Sure, Miz, no problem. Um, cool. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we did all that. This is our... Fourth show tonight, our go home show. Let's I already have a pretty good idea of what we're gonna do. So we will do LA Knight. Where's LA Knight? Versus Ilya. Interference from Sami Zayn. Now he's attacking LA Knight. Well, so let's look at the roster real quick. He's got one active feud with Drag. Does it change? I don't. I'm confused. I thought he was feuding with Sami Zayn. Do we have that's fucking stupid? That's stupid. So if I the feud gets interrupted, if I don't continue it from we, I guess I don't know. I don't know, pal. Interesting. All right, I guess I'll have to keep that in mind. You have to. Be more consistent with the feuds. Um, let's do a self promo for Miz. We promised him that. We'll do a call out. Um, Bray Wyatt calling out Uncle Howdy. Um, let's do Roxanne and Rhea interference from Bailey. Who do we got left? Orton. Orton lost. Hmm. So we know what are the five matches that we're going to do. That's that's probably the important thing to figure out here. We're doing Roxanne and Bailey for the championship. We're doing Core Jade and Bianca. That's two. Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy is three. These two, LA Knight and Sami Zayn, for the WWE Championship is four. Hmm. So we got one free matchup. Um, let's do... Let's run back these two tonight in a rematch, and then maybe the winner. We'll do a rubber match at the pay-per-view. We'll see what happens tonight. But I like that, though. 
I'll run that back. Um, let's see. Okay. And then one-on-one -on -one core jade with uh, Tignox interference from Bianca. Cool. This is our go home show, baby. Roxanne Perez taking on Bailey, or rather, uh, Rhea Ripley with Bailey interfering. Head of the pay per view, Miz will address the audience. Carmelo Hayes and Wesley will run it back. Bray Wyatt calls out Uncle Howdy for a match on Sunday. Core Jade will take on Tegan Knox with a run in from Bianca Belair. Randy Orton will address the audience following his loss last week. And LA Knight will. Take on Ilya Dragunov. Before LA Knight takes on Sami Zayn for the WWE Championship in the main event of Hell in a Cell. So I like that a lot. I like that a lot, folks. I like it a lot. Um, I don't know if you could turn off the dumb fucking bullshit where you have to pay for the free agents. That trash is so dumb. It's dumb. I mean, I just, I just don't like that. Maybe I could... I don't think I could turn it off. I'll have to look into it, though. Thank you guys for checking out today's show, though. I appreciate it. Be sure to like the video, drop a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Have an awesome one, folks. I'm Graham G. Matthews, and I'll catch your ass down the road.